My concept is that, uh, that uh, a non-objective painting uh, should be not restricted through rules. That means that you have somehow to rely on something that is represented. So you have to, to get a, a, a stable relationship to something that is represented, but which is not an object, which is not an idea, otherwise it will just be an illustration, or it is not uh, a symbol, otherwise it will just be a repetition of a given symbol. And the abstract expressionists in, in America, they, they changed this whole relation. So it became more and more important what the painter does. Before the, the actions of the painter, they have been only relevant insofar, insofar they, they led to a certain style or to a certain expression. But now the, the, the work is constructed through the actions of the painters, what he's doing. And then the temptation of the onlooker sometimes is to create meaning. Yeah. Say, well, this is, could look like a, a figure, you know, yeah. with the hands and is running mm -hmm. somewhere else. Right. So, or at the same time, a it's giant's yeah, face, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because the mind wants to make sense of it. It yeah. wants to understand yeah, 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 and yeah. interpret. You just get the process of making mm. it as a meaning. And process of making, making means that you get the, the... Well, if you have an imagination, you can develop that. Your imagination is, never, is, is, is not more than you are conscious about it. But you can develop that. So you, you just can't say, well, I have this association. What means this? Why? Um, what do I mean with that? Thank you.